this episode of Year of the Full Moon. It is something Mr. Mayhem Movies is doing where we're going to put out a new episode every two weeks for the all of 2020. And we're going to be reviewing the Puppet Master franchise. Now, as of right now, Puppet Master has a total of 14 movies related to it. But we'll end up having about 27 episodes. Now that's because there's going to be... Uh, there's movies that cross over with Puppet Master, and then we are going to also review the movies that cross over with those movies, and it's just, it's a whole intricate network. That's ridiculous. Uh, there's also comic books, there's also some documentary series, some just massive bonus discs. It's a very comprehensive collection of, in this franchise. Now, uh, first off, this is right, just going to be the introduction video. And this is going to serve as kind of like a continuation of our old show, The Mortagorier, just in a much more condensed format. Very short, just to give you a rundown of what the movies are, our opinions, what is cool about it, what suck, kind of how they tie into the other ones in the movies. Um, so, I'm Sean Scott, who i one of the street people who run Mr. Man Movies, and Shane Scott, <laughs> one of the other two street people. Let's talk about Puppet Master. Now, as I said, there were 14 movies, or 13 total, and it's going to be 14. Before this, the the I've year. only seen probably three, or was it We've four? seen, each of us have only seen four Puppet Master, the first four. And... Yeah, now we're, we're going to, like, we're, aren't we, like, watching them, then we're going to do a review right after? Yeah, so, okay. like, when so you got, when we record... Going into this, right I've only seen four of them. They were all pretty good, I remember, I just... No, I don't. Just, they all kind of. I remember the first one, and then all the rest ran together. I don't know. Now, I think I remember. I think the third one I liked a lot. Uh, Toulon's Revenge, which yeah. is a prequel. Uh, had a lot of Nazis in it. Yeah, when they go to like World War II, I remember that was kind of fun. I know that happens multiple times. Yeah, the this series. is like a whole trilogy later on, just this, centered on World this War II. This company just is like, hey. They're probably smoking or drinking or something. Like, hey, we should make movies about like dolls and puppets and then they like okay let's make a billion movies with dolls and puppets and then keep crossing them over in the timeline just like isn't just like boom 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 it's boom 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 one up there in the future and then there's one up here in another dimension and then there's one it, it gets ridiculous and i mean i i mean they're they've been good so far but i don't know if they're gonna keep that up or if it's just gonna be like uh, and they weren't like i'm not saying they were like Nightmare on Elm Street 1, good, but they were all watchable, because I've seen a lot of crap that wasn't watchable. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'll watch these again. I've watched stuff in the past, so I'm like, I won't watch again. No. Like, the reason we're doing this review is that we're excited to watch these Puppet Master movies, but I do know that I think they get pretty bad. They might go back up, but they, See, they get See, like, we kind of look at ourselves like... We're, we're, we're not those big companies. This is like one of those, out of the big companies, this is a small company that's in that group that we kind of look up to, I guess, because mm -hmm. they, they are doing stuff with like a no budget comparatively. I mean, I would probably put it like, we're here, and then there's like... Can't even see us on the camera. Like Cinemassacre, who we adore, and then there's like, I don't even know if I'd put a trauma above Cinemassacre. <laughs> it, like... <laughs> when it comes to like quality stuff, honestly, I'd probably put probably Cinema put Massacre. Above it. Even though Troma has a bigger budget, but I love Cinema Massacre, so they're fighting for that spot. And then, then there's like they are right here. Yeah, I would say Full Moon. Full Moon's like right here above Troma, but it's they're not definitely above Troma. Not a main studio at all. Now they no. did have like backing from a main studio kind of early on for the first few Puppet Masters. And like their early output in the '90s, but after that, it they lost their funding from this big studio, and it's just you can I think you can. And tell they just kind of kept going down. though. And they never stop. I mean, they use puppets. So, I mean, it's not like they just have to have somebody that knows how to use puppets, and they're mm -hmm. usually pretty. There's a there's a, normally a good like uh, animatronics behind it also, and then yeah. like just puppeting. Uh, and Full Moon in general, they use a lot of these like small characters, like a lot of their main villains in all of their horror movies are like puppets, like one way yeah. or another, like in, like the evil bong ones, the tiny thing, and oh, subspecies my favorite little are, ones, there's always as tiny As of right now, just seeing four, uh, Blade's probably my favorite. Yes, so in the Puppet Master movies, there are obviously a lot of puppets, yeah. and there's some that you see over and over and over again. Now, the one that seems everyone's favorite is Blade, I that I got a shirt of, 
Um, but there's other ones like Pinhead and Leech Woman and Six Shooter. I, I just remember Torch. Leech Woman just kind of bothered me. I wasn't a fan. Of it, it's uncomfortable. But we'll, we'll get all to that in particular. We'll talk about each puppet for what they do in a movie when we get to the movie. Now, movie-wise, there was the first Puppet Master that was going to be released uh, in theaters, but he ended up, the main guy behind Full Moon, Charles Band, pulled it to be uh, just released direct-to-video. Why because he that? thought he would make more money that way, and I, okay, I think they cutting, did end up making it more yeah, money that way because it didn't the have a whole like theatrical cost. Yeah, uh, mean, and that kind of that was like the first full moon movie, so that kind of like set the bar yeah. to we're going to be a direct to video company. Yeah, and that's how they could pr crank them out too. Yeah, so small. You budgets. could almost take the budget that you put to put them in theaters and just reuse that into making the next one. And there you go. You just got so many movies. I mean, for us, if we could get something in theaters, it'd be like. I don't care if we lose money, but they, I mean, it's worked, so evidently. Far. I mean, I, I like I said, I've seen four, so it could go immediately downhill, and then the series that spin off, or not even spin offs, like, were kind of existed on their own, and then just kind of came into the, mm -hmm. those, I don't, I have no idea, like Doll Man. Yeah, so, movie-wise, <clears throat> after the Puppet Master, there was Puppet Master 2, sometimes called His Unholy Creation, Puppet Master 3, Two Lawns Revenge, which is a prequel. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, Puppet Master 4, The Demon. And it was filmed back-to-back -back with Puppet Master 5, The Final Chapter, which, as you know, is never the final chapter. No, then nothing. it went on a short hiatus for a while because they, they wanted it to be the final chapter. <laughs> uh, there were three movies. There was almost a trilogy called Puppet Wars like that was going to be... that You can actually find the script online. It, you don't have to do a lot of digging. I printed them out. Uh, they were just like... Some of the ideas we used later on, but they were largely scrapped. And they were continued later with Curse of the Puppet Master. Then, I'm pretty sure after that, it goes... Whew, then it gets hard. I think Retro Puppet Master, which would be a prequel to everything. So, before... They, they like, like I said earlier, their timeline is, I think, the most confusing timeline ever. Okay, mm -hmm. like, Final Fantasy and <laughs> going into, like... Uh, what is that, or that other video game? That's confusing, but... Movie-wise, like, I remember I didn't like all the branching timelines that are, like, in, uh... Halloween? Like, Halloween, that pissed me off. Texas Chainsaw Massacre was the worst. Oh, that is the worst. Because there's just so many... That's a pet peeve of mine, just, like, you don't just keep a solid timeline. There's, like, instead of breaking maybe off two, there's, like, six. This so doesn't do... keep a timeline. Yeah, this doesn't do that. This has just another pet peeve. It's not a big of one. It's but just not like, in order. That well, it's oh. like they don't even need to be. They just need to be like this, and then maybe one back here, and then maybe. But it's almost like, and then it jumps around to the point where it's like it's beyond confusing. That I I don't think you even watching these are going to grasp entirely no. the timeline. Like some, I would say when you're if you're ever viewing it any second time, watch it in the timeline order. It would be easier to comprehend. And even then, there's continuity issues. Uh, but yeah, it was retro was the earliest one. Then it was followed up with Puppet Master Legacy, which even though it's a sequel and follows so along, it was kind of a, it's a clip show, I think, with mm -hmm. very few little footage, like new footage. So that, I don't know if that's any good. Oh, God. Uh, Puppet just, Master. I, I'm just picturing, like, that sleepaway camp, like, four or whatever that yeah, was. Yeah, the Survivor. The Survivor that was Kind just, of. They, they had, like, test footage, and then they tried to piece it together into a movie using footage from the rest, and it was just got all... That wasn't an actual movie, but... No, that was just some that's guy what I'm to, a, a Uber fan putting it together. This was a fully financed, full-moon picture clip show. Um, after that, there was Puppet Mats vs. Demonic Toys, which Full Moon didn't entirely have part of. It was a sci-fi channel, oh, but God. it took two Full Moon properties, Demonic Toys and Puppet Master. After that, there was an Axis trilogy... Uh, Axis of Evil, Axis Rising, was this Axis Termination. Channel too, or is this no, just, okay. this would have been Full Moon on their own. These are prequels to the main series, See, but takes place between Toulon's Revenge, which is the third one, and the first movie. Yeah. I mean, with Sci-Fi Channel, you have spectrum of stuff. It could be actually pretty good. There's some really... Well, I think Corey Feldman's in it, so and then, it has to be good. Oh, God, so you know. But then they have some of the most god-awful, like... It makes B like B movies look bad. Some of the stuff they put on it does. Because B movie, <laughs> like I look at it this way: B CGI. movies, B movie tried to be a good movie. These were just like, hey, we're just gonna make movies, and they're gonna not? be crap, and we want to try to get money off them. That's why. It's don't, purely no. a movie. So movie I mean, movie. that so it could be could hit be or good. miss. We'll see. I don't know. Um, and speaking of a crazy timeline, there is gonna be a new movie, Blade: The Iron Cross, is released, oh, which yeah, is part of show. a uh, big full moon event called Deadly Ten. 
they are financing 10 of their films, some of which are sequels to older films. And these 10 films are being made right before your eyes. You can stream every single second of it on their website. So you can, and it's just like a camera rolling nonstop all day. And you can just tune in, watch the movie be made. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. And they just I mean, I'm sure it's a lot of downtime. Yeah. But one thing with these movies, they crank out, like one movie's production is like two weeks. Because they crank it out fast. That's impressive. So um, I, I'm curious what the quality of it will be. I Yeah, I, I saw bits and pieces of it because I've been following Deadly Ten, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Wiz Blade, The Iron Cross, it will be released around uh, Valentine's Day. Was that shirt like a, not GoFundMe, but like, hey, buy the shirt, it'll help fund the movies? It said, there, it said that there was a uh, limited edition of all these Deadly Ten shirts they're putting out, and it's just to help generate revenue for it. And they said, like, you better buy it fast before they run out. Deadly Ten. Yeah. And I went out and bought it, like, right away, and uh, you can go on the website now. I think, and it still says there's plenty of in each size. Yeah. Of no one bought it, but I haven't, and that's what matters. Or they just kept cranking them out, and they're just like <laughs> limited edition. Yeah, go cool, cool, go buy it. I mean, they could probably make them and call them limited edition if they make them throughout the production. Mm-hmm. Since so, uh, I mean, that's probably so. Limited. Maybe they will, but I got the shirt. That's a cool shirt. It is pretty sweet, and this is going to be a spinoff of just Blade. There's also one other movie we didn't talk about called Puppet Master: The Linnaeus Reich. That was. A reboot to the series made by a different company. They bought the rights to make a wow. They gave the movie. they gave the rights away. Well, they can make their own movies still. Hence, Blade and Crow. Oh, okay, so it wasn't like own. exclusive. But right. okay. they gave this, this these people. They're able to make their own series. That's a reboot. This reboot uses the content like vaguely references the continuity, but is largely its own thing. Yeah, classic. Like, reboot Blade comes nowadays. back. Everything is. Uh, and it got good reviews. We haven't seen it yet. We'll get to it. It'll be one of our later episodes. But That was one I always was interested in. It's it's uh, supposed to be pretty good. Um, now, besides that, there were a lot of comic books. Back oh, like when God. Puppet Master was first released, there was uh, Eternity Comics. There was a four-issue series and a two-issue miniseries called Children of Puppet Master. Uh, later, and then like Demonic Toys, Subspecies, all of them had these tie-in comics. Uh, and then there was a revamped Puppet Master series by Action Labs that came out like this decade. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was a long run. And I remember picking up the issue thinking it was a three-issue miniseries, but it just kept going. I don't know exactly what it went, but we're going to review all of these comics. There was a, a documentary that was about all puppet-related things from um, Full Moon's catalog, but mainly Puppet Master, because it's a main puppet. It's called When, Doll, when Puppets and Dolls Attack. Hmm. It's kind of like a clip show in a way. Uh, and then there was, like, there was uh, other stuff like Bunker of Blood had the first one in this long... Uh, review uh, clip show series. Mm-hmm. The first one was called Pup Master Blitz Creek Massacre. We're going to be watching those. They're, they don't take long. Uh, there's also a big Blu-ray bonus disc that if you saw the opening to this video, you saw my giant Puppet Master trunk was all the Blu-rays. We're going to just be working our way through all of those. And then when we get to the last one, which is called Arcana of the Puppet Master, uh, it has a lot of stuff on it. It has hours and hours of like bonus material. Uh, so it is... Hours. 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 It's it's a lot for that. And then alongside that, we'll also give you guys a ranking of what we think all the Puppet Masters are. So, And we'll also rank the other movies that we're going to tie in. And to help bring our episode count up to 27, we're going to be reviewing all the other movies that have tied in. Now, as I mentioned, Demonic Toys tied in. There was original. There was a Demonic Toys 2, Personal Demons. Then there was a Dollman vs. Demonic Toys. So that means now we gotta watch Dollman. Then Dollman vs. Demonic Toys also tied over with Bad Channels, and Demonic Toys 2, which oh, I already God. mentioned, That's went crazy. over was hideous. We're gonna watch all those. We're oh, gonna like God. just give our opinion of them all. We're gonna watch them in release order. So that's what the episode order is gonna be. And we're just gonna tell you at the very end what's the best, what's the worst, where all the other ones fall in the middle, and what our overall thoughts about this franchise are. Yeah. So without further ado. We're going to start watching the Puppet Master, the first one, right now, and you guys will get to figure out what we think in two weeks.